So you want to make a hex hexaflex gun. Well, you're going to be needing some supplies. You're going to need a compass, a ruler or a straight edge, some coloring materials, glue stick, pencil, and uh, also some scissors. So you start off with a standard 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of paper and you draw a nice straight line towards the very bottom of it. Then you make a small point towards the very corner as your starting point. Then adjust your compass to around 5 centimeters. It doesn't need to be exact, but 5 centimeters is a good length. And then go along your line, start at your start point, and then just keep making some arc marks until you've made 5. Then you split your line into 5 small segments, and then you go onto each of those points and you make some more arc marks until you make little X's. Then you go to that last one and make one last arc mark towards the edge of the paper, like that. And connect all those up with your straight edge or your ruler. And then, after you're done with that, you connect these points with smaller segments to create some nice equilateral triangles. You're going to have ten of them when you're done. And then, you do it again. Arc, 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 little X's, and connect them all. Make sure while you're doing this you're exa as exact as possible because if you don't make it very, very perfect and precise, your hexahexaflex gun won't flex very well. Now, you're done. And this next step is optional, you don't need to do this, but I made double the amount of triangles so that when I decorate mine with marker, the marker won't bleed through. Now, you cut out your all your equilateral triangles with some scissors. Make sure not to cut through the triangles as that will result in your hexahexaflex gun being not a hexahexaflex gun. Then you've cut out all your triangles, get rid of the scraps, and cut that in half so you have two equal groups of equilateral triangles. You glue those together towards the edges and you connect them up. Now, since I made mine out of double the amount of paper, I'm going to fold mine in half lengthwise so that I will get a strip of 19 equilateral triangles. And no matter how you do it, whether you use double the amount of triangles or not, you want to end up with 19 equilateral triangles all in a nice straight line. And then you want to crease along all of the edges of the triangles. This ensures that when you make your hexahexaflex gun, it will flex very easily and not get stuck. Go along all the segments, all the lines connecting the triangles, and just crease them up. Once you're done, you are ready to decorate. So I'm gonna do so I'm gonna go do that and I will be right back once I finish. So here you see I have decorated my hexahexaflex gun. It follows a pattern of one, two, three, 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 glue on the front and then on the back. Glue four, four, five, five, six, six, four, four, five, five, six, six, four, four, five, five, six, six. And now watch carefully while I fold this together. You basically just want to make a spirally motion to begin with. Spiral around, up and down, and up and down, and up and down, and up and down until you have a strip of 10 equilateral triangles and then you fold this part upwards this part around and then bring this on top of that other part fold that down and then you glue these two exposed sides together and and now your hexahexaflexagon is in working order let me show you how to flex it you fold two triangles down together and then open up the center. Just like that. So here's one side, it has some numbers on it. Now if you flex it again, here is another side. You can also flex it backwards, like this. And here's a third side. And if you flex it again, you can get a fourth side. If I can get that open, oh yeah, it happens sometimes. And then if you flex it backwards again, and then forwards in a different way, you get a fifth side. And one last time is a sixth side. So your hexahexaflex gun has a total of six sides. And yeah, thank you for watching. Happy flexing.